It involves radicals, so it definitely looks messy, but you just apply the distance formula as usual and follow the rules for um, dealing with radicals. All right, so I'm going to let this be x1, y1, and x2, y2. So starting out with x2, that's 8 radical 3 minus negative 2 radical 3, and this entire expression is squared. Now, y2, that is negative 4 radical 5 minus y1, which is 3 radical 5. This entire expression is squared. Taking care of some of these negative signs makes things simpler. So negative times a negative here gives me a positive. So this is plus 2 radical 3 expression squared. Here I still have a negative sign. I just have a negative. So that remains negative. Okay, now in this next step I'm going to go ahead and look at what I have in terms of addition and subtraction. And I realize that I have like radicals. Because I have like radicals, I can actually add and subtract them using the distributive property, as we've discussed in earlier lessons. So this is gonna give me eight plus two, radical three, and this entire thing is gonna be squared, plus negative four minus three, times radical 5, and this entire thing is going to be squared. Simplify this. 8 plus 2 is 10, so 10 radical 3 squared plus negative 4 minus 7. That gives me a negative 7 radical 5 squared. Now all I have to do is simplify this, take the square root, and then I'm going to have my answer. So 10 squared is 100. Square root of 3 squared is 3. Negative 7 squared is 49. Square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5. So now it's getting much cleaner looking than we started out with. 100 times 3 is 300, plus 49 times 5 is actually 245. Add these two terms to get the square root of 545. So even though this started out very messy, if you notice, the x terms have, are like radicals and the y terms are like radicals. And that allowed us, when we applied this formula, to subtract those two because they were like terms. And so that's really all that was done here, is to substitute these in, take care of the like radicals, add or subtract them, and then squared them. That got rid of the radicals, and then found the square root. So given these two sets of points, the distance between them is the square root of 545.